hi friends calculation and winding of pulse transformers is a relatively complex process so many prefer not to do it many homemade devices need a power source but because of the complexity of the pulse circuits radio amateurs often use iron transformers they are reliable but when it comes to size and weight they are worse here are two transformers, both have somewhere around 300 watts. I think their differences, merits and demerits, are quite clear. Today we will talk about winding a pulse transformer of a mains power supply. In this video I will show only the process of transformer preparation, calculation and winding. In the next video we will collect the power source on its base and study the circuits of simple impulse power supplies. First you need to choose the core. The required core can be bought in the store, but I think everyone will find an old non-working computer power supply. In such power supply we will find a transformer. More precisely there are three, the transformer of the standby voltage, the control and the main one. It's impossible to mix up the power transformer with others. It's the biggest one. We carefully remove it and send the module back to the attic. Next, remove the adhesive tape from the core. Then we must heat the core, for example with a soldering iron or a hot air device. You can also put it in boiling water. I already showed the ways of disassembling in another video. The link will be in the description. The transformer is heated to loosen the glue between the halves of the core. Next, carefully remove the halves of the core and then begin dismantling the old windings. Here any methods are good, we will not need the wire from old windings anymore. Then the frame and the core halves must be cleaned of the glue. Everything is ready. Now let's proceed to the calculations. You probably thought that there will be formulas. No, in fact, everything will be done for us by this application. Open the application and select the topology of the converter. In our case, it's a half bridge. Then, choose the desired wire diameter of the primary winding. Next, choose the type of power transistors. We use field effect transistors, so choose MOSFET. For the most accurate calculation, I recommend, in the datasheet of the selected transistor, to look at the value of the resistance of the open channel and insert this parameter into the program. Next, you need to specify the power supply voltage type by selecting one of the two possible. After that, the program automatically selects the minimum, nominal and maximum voltage. But this data can be changed manually. Moreover. The program can do the calculation of the transformer for both converter types, a step down and a step up. Then choose the core. Everything is simple, we just take an appropriate instrument and measure sizes. The application contains a huge database with the characteristics of popular cores of different shapes and even armored cups. You surely will find the core you need or as similar as possible by the parameters. The main thing is to look carefully. No need to introduce the main parameters of the core additionally. They are hidden from the user's eye to simplify the program. Next, insert the frequency of the converter in Hertz. In my case, it is 50 kHz or 50,000 Hertz. Next, select the desired output voltage, current and the desired wire diameter of the secondary winding. And at the end we choose the rectifier type and the voltage drop on the diodes. In our case, rectifier is unipolar with an average point. In the case of the conventional diodes, voltage drop is usually 0.6 to 0.7 volts. In the case of Schottky diodes of 0.15 to 0.3 volts. It's easy to check with the multimeter. 
Finally, click the button to see the results. If something is wrong, the program will display an error and tell you what to change. Below will be indicated the main parameters that you want to know. The number of turns and the wire diameter of the primary and secondary winding, the minimum, nominal and maximum voltage on the secondary winding, core overall power, the power consumed by the load, the efficiency of the inverter and much more. When calculating, it is important to indicate the presence of active cooling or a fan. With fan, more power could get from the transformer. The program provides optimal winding data, which, of course, depends on the core itself, the operating frequency of the generator, and the presence of active cooling. In my case, the overall power of the core is about 60 watts, in spite of the fact that it was taken from the computer power unit. Of course, you can get more power, but it will already be a non-standard mode for such a core. At the moment, the application is available in two languages, Russian and English, only for users of the Android operating system, but very soon there will be a version for Apple. The application isn't free, but the cost is symbolic. I think everyone can afford. A link to the application is in the description. After calculation, knowing all the necessary parameters, we begin winding. It is very desirable to do this way. First, on the bare frame, we must wind half of the primary winding, then the secondary one entirely, and over it the second half of the primary, as it is done in the transformers of computer power supply. But I prefer not to bother, so I fully wind up the primary, and over it the secondary. Don't forget to isolate each layer of winding. For these purposes, I recently started to use only Captain Tape. The link is in the description. The winding must be done as accurately as possible, turn to the turn. For convenience, both shoulders are wound up at once, with the two wires. This winding is also wound layer by layer. It is desirable to isolate each layer. But if the winding is low voltage, you can escape additional isolating. We reassemble the finished transformer. The core can be glued or simply fixed with adhesive tape or both at once. Because of the type of the output rectifier, we need to phase the secondary winding. But let's talk about this in the following video, in which I will show the circuit where this transformer will work and other details related to the power source. So subscribe to the channel, don't miss new videos. Please don't forget to rate this video. If you have any questions related to electronics, ask them in our social group. The link is also in the description. Now I say goodbye until new meetings. With you was Kaisan TV.